Welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral. Previously, I had covered uh, some of the Hermes Press Roy Rogers reprints, uh, specifically the first volume, which was the uh, best of Alex Toth and John Buscema, the artists who illustrated some of these classic 1950s comic books. The Hermes Press editions are full color reproductions, as you can see, and they had in it the, uh, their supplemental material, including you know, rare photos of, of Roy and so forth. So I covered this in a previous episode, along with the, the uh, collected dailies and the Sundays, uh, also by Hermes Press. These were the, uh, the dailies were black and white, and of course the Sundays were um, the color Sunday supplement, which some of you are familiar with. And that is all reproduced in this fantastic volume. Well, finally, they came out with the the next volume. I don't know if this is the last volume. I, I think it is. But this is the best of John Buscema, which is strictly Buscema. The first one had Alex Toth and John Buscema. In this one, we have just Buscema. Um, beautiful hardcover collector's books. Limited print run, I believe. So you're not going to see uh, these out there at the original price for long. Generally, these um, go on the aftermarket at an elevated price because there's a really a huge market right now for Roy Rogers collectibles. That's always been the case, especially during his lifetime. There are books about collecting Roy Rogers material and so forth, and you can look that up yourself. Um, but reprinting the Roy Rogers comics, I think I previously showed you number one, which I have, and then of course some of the others. This is the one that uh, Dusty uh, signed for me when I met him with the Sons of the Pioneers. That's uh, Roy Rogers Jr. Uh, with his father on the cover. And I'll see if I can get a scan of this up there for you, and so forth and so on. Uh, collecting Roy Rogers comics is, for you comic book fans, is a lot of fun. So, um, for those of you interested in comic book art and sequential art, um, I recommend these beautiful, beautiful reproductions. Look at the end papers on this. Isn't that fantastic? Especially you Western fans. I know some of you comic book fans. Um, little attention is given to the Western comics from the 50s and 60s. Um, I think they're underrated and you should take a look at them. Um, these are just beautiful. This is the, this is from the John Buscema um, edition. This just came out. Um, here's a little bit from the back cover and so forth. Uh, beautiful covers, beautiful interior, reproducing it. Very little digital restoration, by the way. It looks to me as if they reproduced these from a scan of the originals, um, which is fine. They're high quality all the way. You even get bullets and trigger in these. So, so yeah, I know. For, for those of you that recall that, uh, it's a lot of fun. So, um, you get here's reproduction of the cover with Roy with bullet from uh, Roy Rogers comics. The original comics, these original comic books, by the way, were, these original comic books, by the way, were 52 pages. Um, so you would get multiple stories in one edition. You, today, you're lucky to get 23 pages. And if it's being published by Marvel or DC, the quality, especially DC, the quality is going to be really low uh, as far as the storytelling. Uh, but this is from the glory days of westerns. Um, so I just wanted to give an update on that because the third volume is now out there and I hope you get a chance to pick it up for you comic book fans. And uh, you know what? Happy trails. I'll see you along that dusty trail.